it could be terrible and it could be great. It's not clear. Right. But one thing is for sure, we will not control it. Should we be frightened of AI? I was gonna ask you the same thing. So let's talk about artificial intelligence and where we are in the world right now. Now the question is, is that worrisome for our future? Does this mean computers are gonna take over the world and squish human beings? The answer is probably not. Because AI is very very clever at extremely narrow sorts of tasks, like discriminating cats and dogs, playing chess, playing Go, and all kinds of other very impressive things. But it is worse than a three-year-old child at being able to do things like navigate a complex room and talk with adults. So, you may think that having the inner sanctum of the brain being private is part of what it means to be a human. But that's only what it means to be human right now. And when we fast forward 200 years or a thousand years, it may be very different what it means to be a human. First of all, women won't carry babies. They'll grow babies up in artificial wombs, they'll do gene editing of all sorts, and thus lifespans will be extremely extended. Also, there may not all of the cultural things that we are used to. Like you find one partner, and you marry and you have your children and you raise them and then you die and so on. All of that is going to change as a result. Which means sort of inevitably. And so, the idea that what we consider to be a human will even be relevant in 500 or 1000 years seems probably wrong. So there's a question about whether you should be afraid of this world or not. But, imagine your great great grandparents, and if they could see what your world is right now. Don't think we're heading into a future, where there's an us into them. Where the them is machines, computers and AI. Because what we're heading toward is instead is a future where there's an increasing integration between humans and machines. It may be the case that eventually we catch up, where computers figure out what the secrets of the human brain are. But the main point is we have no idea how far off that is. The human brain has about 85 billion neurons which are receiving processing and sending information around neurons are specialized cell type. So, what we have is something of unimaginable complexity. This is why we shouldn't be terribly worried about the state of AI. Maybe in 30 or 50 years this may change, but so far, nothing to fear. We can brace the change and can adapt with the fur. With platforms like Edapt, we can learn more about our future and skills we need to add adapt with the future. Futuristic learning platforms like Edapt, aims on inspiring young minds to attain a sustainable future. You can get the app on Google Play Store and Apple App Store. You will find the link in description.